Today we're gonna be stenciling. First though, I've gotta get this stool painted red. We've had it for about a month. Couldn't figure out what we wanted to do with it, but I think we've got it figured out. So today I'm gonna to be using DIY paint in Marquee. This is a sample size. It's not quite full. We've used it on some other projects. I think it'll be plenty to cover this bar stool. I'm just using my Paint Pixie brush. This is the inch and a quarter. I've got the inch and a quarter because it's easy to get down in these samples for smaller projects like this. And I'm just gonna start painting it here. This Marquee color has amazing coverage. It may, I mean, I like to call it a coat and a half. It'll probably get me close to full coverage on a coat, but then I'll have some little spots here and there where I'll have to go back and hit where the brush is running out of paint or something and touch up, so a coat and a half on that. On rungs like this, I like to go side to side instead of going like this. You're gonna get better coverage down in those details. I'm gonna get all these rungs painted, and then before I paint the top, I'll flip it over and paint the bottom real quick and all the undersides of the rungs where I can't see good, and then we'll go from there. All right, got the stool flipped over. You can see there's some parts here that I missed and the underside's looking nice and messy. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint that, then I'll flip it over and paint the top of the stool. So I'm about done. I think I'm only gonna do one coat. I've got most of what I've missed. And you can see here, there was already some paint out of this sample, and I've only used that much. Not even half is missing. It covers really, really well. I'm probably not going to second coat this because I will be distressing it, but you see right here where it's got like a little darker spot where the wood's coming through? And then right here as well, just a couple little spots. This is where it wasn't quite dry and I grabbed it. I might go over that, but I wanted to talk about something real quick. So DIY paint is a no prep to minimal prep paint. So it's clay based and you don't have to really worry about it sticking. It sticks to most surfaces really well. But here's the thing, because it's clay based, it's easily activated with water or say your second coat of paint. So if you're blending or trying to go back in with a second coat of paint, you want to kind of be light with your brush because what happens is, let's say I get this this second coat on here, my first coat is then going to become activated. If I let that sit for just a second and then I see like another spot I didn't like and I come back over and I brush heavy, you can sometimes, if you're, especially if your piece is shiny, remove some of the paint that you already had on there. Bar stool's all dry, I'm pretty happy with the coverage, just a couple little touch up spots. I didn't even do a full second coat, just touched up the rungs a couple places here and there. I'm gonna distress it now, I've got just a 220 buff block, this is the foam buff blocks. We like them because they get in the cracks real easy. I don't wanna use the orbital sander on this because A, I'm inside and it's gonna create a ton of dust, but B, this DIY paint powder's pretty good and I wanna keep the dust down, so I'm just gonna use this buff block and just lightly go over the edges and then I'm gonna be doing a stencil on it. I wanted to show you the powder I was talking about. You can kind of see it here. That is just clay and pigment that's dried and I don't want that getting on my stencil or anywhere else. So I'll give this a good wipe down before I start stenciling. I'm just kind of hitting the spots where it would naturally have wear. I don't want to take too much off. I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down now that I've distressed it. I don't want to really reactivate that paint but I'm using this microfiber towel and I'll show you how much of that dust comes off. And then after I'm done wiping this down, cause I am gonna kinda get a little bit of a wet distress effect going on, which is also planned. That's part of why I didn't distress very heavily with the sanding block. I'm just getting all this dust off of here now. The dust has all been removed. Got that off of there. Now I'm gonna let it just sit for another minute or two and then we'll do the stencil. Stool's all painted and distressed. I have not sealed it yet. So normally I would tape this off, but because the paint is so fresh and hasn't been sealed, I'm not gonna tape it. I'm just gonna hold my stencil down and use this little C stencil brush. It can also be used as a wax brush, but it does an amazing job at getting down in these little fine details without having to have too much paint on the brush. So I've got my farm fresh positioned here. 
I'm just gonna, I've got a little bit of paint on there. I'm just gonna offload most of that just right here onto the towel and see how this goes. So I'm just, I'm just barely dabbing the tip down into the paint and then I'm actually offloading that too. Now when I'm coming over here close to the tree, I'm trying to be careful because I'm doing the tree in a different color. I'm gonna do the, actually do the tree in green. So just using the, kind of tilting it to the side and using the edge of the brush. All right, got the farm fresh on there. My stool is not quite big enough to fit everything on here. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna position the truck here and do the truck and the pine tree and then we're probably gonna have to lose the Merry Christmas because the, the top of the stool just isn't big enough. But underneath we'll do the pine, spruce, and fir down below. I'm gonna use this manila envelope to keep me from going over onto the tree. And we'll do this part of the truck first and then I'll work my way up to the top of the truck. I don't know if you guys noticed my painting buddy is not here with me today. Jamie is out of commission. She's caught herself a little bug, flu or something going on, but she is pretty sick, so I'm having to demo this for you guys alone. But you know, we wanted to get you something. We haven't done a video since Saturday, so hopefully you guys aren't too bored with me today. No, oh, no, I got a little in my tree. It's just a little tiny bit. I don't think I'm gonna sweat it. Okay, still using my Little C Paint Pixie stencil brush. I'm going in with the Gypsy Green from DIY. And just real light, brush that off. Got my manila envelope. Let's see if I can keep the green where it's supposed to be. And if I was getting real crazy, I could make the, the trunk brown and the tires black, but we're just, we just go in basic colors here. I mean, let's be honest, we're lucky I'm not just doing it all white. Okay, when I come up here, I'm careful not to get it on the H up here. There's a little bit of gap, a little more than down here on this one. And it would be really easy and probably look really good still if you did just do one solid color like this. This stencil all in white would probably look really great and I might do that on some signs for the shop. Let me move this and finish off the tree over here. Just want to be careful not to get it on the white truck part. Time to lift the stencil. I'm going to get my pine spruce and fir I've washed my brush so that I can do white again. I feel pretty good about that. Just barely, barely dipping it in the, the edge of the paint here. And then I still offload. I feel like this may have turned out to be one of the best stencils I've ever done, but I think it looks a little too crisp with the distress of the stool. So I've just got one of those microfiber towels, real damp, and I'm just gonna real softly, I don't wanna activate too much red and make a pink. I'm just brushing it back till I get just a hint of the red, just a hint of it. It's time to bring this little stool project full circle. I need to seal it. I'm gonna be using DIY clear wax, got my Paint Pixie wax brush. To apply this, I'm gonna give it a good liberal coat all over and then I'll let that sit. I'm only gonna let it sit for probably about an hour. And then, then we've got this new brush from Paint Pixie. It's called the Little Buffy. And instead of using a rag, you buff with this, it gets in the cracks really, really well. So I wanna use it on this stool since it's got all these rungs and details. All right, so this Buffy brush, instead of using a rag, you just come in and give it a good wipe down 
you can swirl it. It works really good on big flat surfaces, but it also is working really well on the rungs here. You can see it kind of shining up. It's getting rid of the dullness and you can just keep going. If you wanted to get a higher sheen, what I would do is put another coat of wax on there, probably let it sit for 24 hours and then buff that off. And that would be able to get like a real nice, hard, shiny finish with wax using this brush. So little afternoon stenciling project. If you got that oddball piece of furniture, you just don't know what to do with it, make it a statement piece. It's gonna be a fun little stool. Normally we would sell stools for about $29. Because we stenciled this one, it's gonna go for $39 in our shop. We may even keep it around here at the house. I don't know, Jamie's seen it. I think she likes it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested in getting this same look, you can find all the products I used in today's video at jamierayvintage.com. The stool is painted in DIY paint in marquee. And then for the stencil, I used gypsy green on the tree, DIY white swan on the lettering and the trucks. The stencil I used is called the Farm Christmas Truck Stencil. And then I finished it off with DIY clear wax. And then my new favorite, the little Buffy, this wax buffer. It got a little bit of red on it from the pigment. My wax wasn't quite dry. It probably would have been better if I had waited till tomorrow, but you know. Thanks for hanging out with me today doing this project. If you like this video, please share it. Make sure you're hitting that notification bell so you're not missing our upcoming videos. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.